Okay, hi, this is Ruben here, uh, Ruben Arbugam, and I would like to actually show you guys uh, what interests me the most that's cooking. So, um, actually, I cook for my family and my friends, and uh, it's just a leisure, but I find that uh, it, it has become a passion, and I like to find new things and new recipes, and I, and I look for them. Actually, I taste a lot of food outside, and I try to replicate them at home. And um, I've been cooking for the past 10 years, perhaps, and even before my wedding, uh, which when I was 27, I've been cooking. So, um, it's inspired by my mom, because she's a wonderful cook. My sister became another wonderful cook after she got married and all that. And uh, pretty much everybody in my family loves to cook. Even my wife, my, my brother-in-law, my mother and father, everybody loves to cook. So, uh, we are, we, when, we, when we gather together, we usually we challenge each other by doing potluck and we do different dishes and we share our ideas and uh, um, cooking is a joy actually for us. It's more, more than just uh, for the sake of eating. So uh, today I'm going to do something which we, as I'm, I'm originally, from origin is I'm an ethnic Indian, um, so I'm Singaporean. So, but I will, we will love always to eat. Uh, mainly uh, biryani on special occasions and all that. So we cater food and uh, we always uh, try and go and taste different different kind of biryanis. So we're gonna start off with cooking and I'm going to show you guys how I do my so-called version of the chicken. It's been soaked for an hour, uh, wash it clean and uh, we're now going to add our spices that we actually roasted in oil together with the water, bring it to a boil. And to this, we add some salt. Natural sea salt, otherwise that's what I usually use. And of course, uh, salization secret, pandan leaf. Gives you that nice aroma. And to this, we add our chicken stock. Okay, we're gonna strain all the Strain the rice, it's already 80% done. Now we're gonna layer the the bowl that we're using. We're just spreading some ghee at the bottom, and we're going to place with this some of the rice that we've cooked. It's all now all drained. As you can see, it's pretty much 70% cooked together with we're gonna layer it by adding it at the bottom. a nice level of basmati rice followed by the mixture of chicken that we have prepared nice chicken leg pieces all three of those goes there together with some of the nice gravy taste of the tomato chilies and onions And then we're gonna do our flavoring, which is the second layer of the basmati rice. Since this is biryani rice, so we're gonna add some saffron, which is on warm milk, for the color. Okay. So we just put a bit here. Uh, it's not two layers of the plastic wrap. Follow. It's pretty much heavy duty aluminum foil. So you really use. You really gotta pack the juices inside. Let the steam in mm -hmm. my oven. Mm -hmm. uh, roasted ribs, our Christmas turkey, and all that. Pretty much, that's one of my favorite things to use. Oven at 180 degrees. Uh, we're gonna put it in for like 30 minutes and we'll do the cooking from here. Chop small shallots and in yogurt sauce with some coriander leaf and lemon juice. So we have a yogurt here which we have already put in the bowl. We're gonna put fresh ingredients inside. This is gonna be small onions and your chop, grind the leaves. Together with this, just to add them up, we're gonna add 
freshly squeezed lemon juice. This half a lemon. And we're gonna mix it up. So we have the nice drumstick here. Get it with some nice Yanni rice. And we're gonna add some of our salad that we prepared this now. There you go, homemade dumb biryani.